What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to The Great Gambino Watch Reviews. Today, we are taking a look at a three-piece Ernst Benz collection. I have here a case that is part of a watch tour that has been sent out to several other YouTube watch reviewers that you can see signed the box. I will be signing this package at the end of the video. I wanna say thank you to Chris from The Watch Lounge for organizing this, Ross Gallen, as well as Hannah Darnell, and Leonid Honkin from Ernst Benz for including me in this tour. The three pieces included in this set from left to right, the Chrono Lunar GC10311. In the middle, we have the Chrono Lunar Officer GC40384. And on the far right, we have the Chrono Lunar GC20312. Ernst Benz founded the company in the 1950s. He was an engineer, pilot, and inventor who eventually began creating pilot watches, which he called a chronoscope instead of chronograph. The original piece was 47 millimeters, and jumping forward to today, we still have a model in that case size. In addition, we have a 44 millimeter as well as a 40 millimeter version. Let's take a closer look. This is the Chrono Lunar GC10311, and it features black with yellow accents. It is the largest of the three, and it retails for $7,225. The mid-size piece in this collection is listed as the Chrono Lunar Officer GC40384. This version has white with gold accents and retails for $7,025. Last but not least, we have the smallest of the three, the Chrono Lunar GC20312. It features a white dial with black and red accents and is priced at $6,325. Now I know these are expensive watches, but I want to point out that all three of these pieces are extremely complicated and have more mechanical moving parts than any other piece I've reviewed on either one of my two channels. With that said, let me give you the actual measurements of each piece. First, looking at the 311, we have a case width of 47 millimeters. Lug to lug is 55 millimeters. If you want to change out the bend, it's 22 millimeters. And we have a case thickness of 16 millimeters. The Officer 384 has a case width of 44 millimeters. Lug to lug is 52 millimeters. If you want to change out the band, it's 22 millimeters, and we have a case thickness of 16 millimeters. The 312 has a case width of 40 millimeters. Lug to lug is 47.5 millimeters. If you want to change out the band, it's 20 millimeters, and we have a case thickness of 15.2 millimeters. The crown on all three pieces is branded with the company logo, and it has some nice deep coin edging, which will make it easy for you to wind. Let's go ahead and hear what that action sounds like. Setting the chrono function is the same as most other watches in this category. A simple press of the top pusher will activate the chrono hand, To stop the function, you will press the top pusher a second time. After you have stopped it, pressing the bottom pusher will reset the hand. This feature works the same on all three models. Included with all three is a domed piece of sapphire glass with anti-reflective treatment on the underside. While turning it toward my studio lights, it does an impressive job of reducing the glare and almost appearing like there's no glass at all, giving you a clear shot of the dial. The cases are all completely polished, giving it a more dressy appearance. And on the side, there's a button that can be used to quick set change the day of the week. Overall, it looks very nice. Looking closer in on the dial, these watches are extremely complicated. I will go over the similarities as well as the differences. All three pieces come paired with cathedral style handsets, as well as a physical pointer hand indicating the date. They all have Arabic style indice numerals and the Ernst Benz logo on the left of the three o'clock. If you look at the logo above the print, you will notice the circle with the cross actually makes out an EB standing for Ernst Benz. It's a subtle detail, but I thought it was pretty creative. Each watch has three chrono subdials. The top one has a day and month display in addition to a 30 minute counter that will activate with the chrono function. The bottom dial is a lunar phase that will represent the position of the moon throughout the day. And the left dial will have your running second hand as well as a 24 hour time zone indicator. Similar to what you would find on a modern Speedmaster, each one of these subdials has a circular record style pattern. Looking at this 40 millimeter, it is individual from the others because of its black trim hands in combination with a fully red date pointer. The dial is white and we have green loom print indice numerals. The 44 millimeter has a gold trim theme on the subdials, handset, and indices, and a gold date pointer with red tipped end to highlight the date. 
The larger 47 mm has a black dial with yellow accents, white trimmed cathedral hands and date pointer, in addition to silver trim around the subdials. Flipping around back, a sapphire display case shows off the Valjoux 7751 movement. This movement uses an Inca block, shock protector, and glucider balance wheel with Nivarox alloy hairspring. It's a 25 joule movement that vibrates at 28,800 BPH and has a power reserve of 44 hours. The strap included with the 44 and 40 millimeter pieces are handmade Louisiana alligator leather. You can tell right away when you have it in your hand that it is of a very high quality and feels like an immediate step up from the traditional calfskin. The 47 millimeter is the only one that comes paired with a strap that is not made of alligator, but it is still a very high quality handmade leather. All three models have a buckle that is stamped with the Ernst Benz logo, and they all taper toward the base. Now let's take a look at the loom. Ernst Benz states on their website that they use five coats of Super Luminova applied over the handset as well as the indice numerals. It's very bright, long lasting, and you can tell just from this shot, it will not disappoint. In these shots, I will show you each piece side by side next to an American quarter to give you a better representation of the scale. And here's the 40 millimeter on my 6.75 inch wrist. It is an excellent fit, and this is the one I would wear out of the three if I had my choice. Here's a shot of the 44 millimeter. It's a little bigger than what I am used to, but I feel that if I wanted, I could pull it off and it would still look pretty sharp. Last but not least, we have the 47 millimeter, and I will admit that this one does feel too large for a wrist of my size. That's my personal opinion, but nevertheless, it is still a beautiful watch, and I think it would look great on a wrist size of seven inches or larger. And with all that out of the way, the last thing to do is sign the case. All right, that is going to wrap up this review of the Ernst Benz Chrono Lunar three-piece set. Thank you again to Chris and the Ernst Benz team for allowing me to be included in this watch tour. I appreciate you all for sticking around until the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one.